Hi, welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and this is the star of the show. Oh, lovable. Grumpy Grandpa. Today's a very special Timu haul, as Timu has gifted us with money to buy different things to share with you. Now, I've chosen the, the campaign, Timu Tools, Are They Worth It? Now, if you've never heard of Timu before, it's an online marketplace that sells many different items from different categories with a lot of different items, such as clothing for men and women, jewelry, shoes, handbags, toys for children and adults, uh, bedding, kitchen gadgets, makeup, skin care, uh, organization items, accessories for your car, accessories for uh, home decor, just all kinds of items. And okay. their prices are excellent with free shipping, 90 day free returns, and 30 day price adjustments if the price goes down. All right, let's get into the stuff. So I wanna show you some of the things that I've chosen that I would like to have and that I thought you would enjoy. Also, I'm a Timu affiliate so I have a special code that can save you even more money with Timu's special prices with their sales and all the things they have to offer. My code is APW47723, which I'll have on the screen. Say that again slower. APW47723. Got it. All the information will be down in the description box, but if you're already buying for team, from Timu, put that in the search bar and you'll get a $100 coupon bundle. If you've never put Timu on your phone as a Timu app, when you do that, shop at Timu, but before you submit your first order, put that same code in the code box and you'll get 30% off your first order, plus you'll get that $100 coupon bundle. All this information is in the description box. Okay, so let's get started with the haul. The first thing I got were these mini muffin tins. I got 12 of them. Three in gray, three in blue, three in red, and three in pink. So, I tried out using these. I made a batch of red velvet cake mix, Grumpy Grandpa's favorite, and... Yeah, it means there's not gonna be any red velvet cake for Valentine's Day now. Oh, I'll get another one. So, the first batch, I have pictures that I'll insert. I overloaded them, so they went over the top. So the second batch, I learned to only load them to the, to the top, don't, don't overload it, okay? And those came out really fine, and I'll insert a picture of that. I had never used silicone baking uh, items before, so this, I was a little hesitant, but they're fine. Now, these are real thin, so you might be a little hesitant at first, but it's great. I put them on a cookie sheet and baked them at 350 for uh, 12 minutes, but everybody's oven is different. Okay, so then, I let them cool completely, and then I started to peel them from the top and pop them from the bottom. And so they came out pretty well, but some of them, the cake still stuck to the bottom. So on the third batch, I used vegetable oil and sprayed them with vegetable oil, and that seemed to work a little bit better. Then they came out completely. Some people said they popped out real easy, all right? so. Um, I would say, uh, the cake mix says you can get 23 cupcakes. I'd say you'd get about 48 of these from a, a regular cake mix, okay? So I'm gonna show you what happened. Then I also ordered this pouring spoon. Now, I've never had one of these, but this is something that you put like a sauce in here and then you can make it real pretty on a dish. You know how the chefs do that? Well. Okay, so let me tell you, these... Holy smokes. I know. These 
muffin mini bunt pants they're called mini bunt pants silicone are three i paid well they were 349 when i got them now they're 348 for the 12 pieces and this creative deco spoon was a dollar 53 and now it's a dollar 52 and it's for just for making it's called a food draw pool right i never had anything like this so let me show you what it looks like. Now remember, I'm not a professional. You know the professional chefs do it real fancy. So would you hand me the plate? Which one? The one where I did the drawing. Come on, I told you which one was first. All right. Hey, here so, we go. See how I drew, well, tried to draw a fancy thing on the plate, and then on top of each a bunt pan, bunt uh, cake, I drew a little design. All right, so that's that. how I used this spoon. I melted some cream cheese icing to make it more malleable, all right? Then on another one, hand me that one with the powdered sugar. Then one I took and I sprinkled powdered sugar on it. All right, see, on a red plate with a little white heart, okay? And then on the last one, of course, you can just do... Kind of running out of places, huh? Yeah. Is the icing. So I just put cream cheese icing on it on a pretty white plate with the red heart. Now, the other thing you can do is you can take one and see you get the hole on the bottom. So you could flip them over and do it with the hole on the top and fill this with cream or fruit. All right. So, all right, there you go. Now, you gotta put these back. You see? Mm. Not pretty bad. Good? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right. So those are the mini bunt pans that are silicone, and they were real easy to use, and um, they baked just fine in the oven. I had, had to lick some icing off my hand. I had no problem using them. I used a teaspoon to fill them with. It takes a little patience to fill them, but that's fine. So that's the first two things that I got. Another thing that I got was this spatula. And it's a skinny spatula. So I'm sure I opened at one point in time. No, I opened sideways. Oh, okay. There we go. The skinny spatula, you know, to get the mayonnaise or the ketchup out. I'll tell you what else I use this for. Um, with my makeup with those tubes and you can't get any more out, so you uh, can take off the lid and get the rest, because there's always a lot of cream and stuff left inside the tube. So for this spatula, silicone jar spatula, um, baking tool, it was a dollar seventy nine, and now it's a dollar eighteen. So that that was a good thing, and it comes in a lot of different colors. Another thing I got now I had had gotten one pair of these. Okay, no more eating on on camera. Why not? Well, I had gotten one pair of these. These are stainless steel scissors. All right, and they cut really well. See how sharp they are? Now, I don't know what happens at our house because there's only two of us, but scissors seem to gain legs and just walk out of here. Don't blame me. I do blame you. I no. don't know what happens to them. I've got two pair of scissors on my desk. Those are mine. Okay, well, anyway. Don't blame me. You're the one that leaves cups of coffee all over the place. You probably leave scissors all over the place, too. <laughs> so... I want a pair of scissors for each one of the bathrooms and a pair of scissors wait, for the... Wait, wait, wait. Why do you need a piece of a scissors in each bathroom? To cut the toilet paper? No, but I'm always cutting things, okay? In the bathroom? Yes. You know, to open things. Yes. Just, I just... Don't fight with me. That's sick. And then I need scissors in my craft room. And then I need scissors in... I'm going to put a pair of scissors in my car. And then there's going to be a pair of scissors that go in my travel bag. 
because we go away and I always need a pair of scissors to cut off you the string. You can't carry a scissors in your car. That's a weapon. I'm going to have a weapon in my car then. And a pair of scissors in my travel bag because okay. whenever we go away, I need to open something or cut off a string or something. So, and these scissors are just perfect. They're the right size and they're sharp. And so I got five pair of them. Don't put any in the bedroom. I have five to sleep with pair. one eye open. That's right. You better anyway. Five stainless steel sharp scissors for five ninety nine, and now they're five ninety eight. A piece? No, for the whole five pair. Yeah, that's better. I know. That's a great price. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, the next yeah. thing I got. Get to use scissors, right? Was now. this mini heat gun? Oh man! This now is... it's three hundred watts. Plug in. All right. Now, I use this for crafting, for when I'm trying to dry my paint. I'm getting impatient to dry the paint, but it also can be used for epoxy resin, embossing, shrink wrapping, okay, and drying crafts. It is 300 watts. It was three. It was eight ninety nine when I got it. It's now eight forty eight. A mini heat gun. Now, of course, all the links for this will be down in the description box below. All you have to do is go to the description box, click on the link, click on the link. Bam! It'll take you right to the item. Click on how many you want. If there's different colors, choose your color. I'll tell you, if you use our links in the description box, we will get a small commission and we greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's not a lot. It's not our retirement plan, but we do appreciate it. Will you put the- Oh, don't hit it to me now. You took it away from me. Okay, and it does come Smart with camp. a manual, okay? Oh, that's always good. All right, the next thing I want to show you is this. This, this is, I had to move all the stuff over here. Here's your heat gun. Now, it comes in a really small box, but this is a scalp app. Uh, massager all right and so I tried it last night and obviously I can't try it on myself right now because Timu also sells wigs and I have a wig on today but this is a scalp massager and you can put anything in it that you want to apply to your scalp I'm looking on my notes here pizza sauce portable scalp massager so you can put things like hair serum, hair oil, conditioner, nutrient solution, or growth liquid, along with essential oil that's safe for your skin. Of course, essential oil, you have to have a carrier oil. So I have put in um, this. This is, uh, this I just had, Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Oil, and it's safe for your hair. It's body oil, face oil, hair oil. So I put some of that in, and then I put in some essential oil that's safe for skin. And you put it in up here. See this little thing? It comes off. See, it comes off. And you put this stuff in there, and then you put that back on. Like that. Come on. Timu tools, are they worth it? Well, now I can't get, there we go. You put it back on nice and tight. Then you take off the bottom part. All right. And it has these rolling massage things. And you can see the stuff comes out of there. So I'm gonna use it on grandpa. And all you do is uh, tilt your head down because I can't see. Tilt your head down. I can't. My neck, my. And so you just, I'm going to do it here. You just gently rub this through your scalp. Just gently. 
Not a lot of pressure. Okay, they get the idea. Okay. Yeah, I got all this gunk in my hair. No, it's not gunk, it's good. Can you see it coming out there? If you rub it, see? Yeah, they believe you. And so this is a portable scalp massager. I'd rather use my fingernails. What did I do with the bottom part? I don't know. Not over here. Well, I had it here just a minute ago. Okay, so then you put the bottom part on. It's probably on there. Look behind the scissors. I don't know. I'll mm -hmm. find it in a minute. And so that's a portable scalp massager. And when I bought it, it was $1.69, and now it's $1.68. I am looking for it right now. I know. I don't know what I did with it. I'm just going to set this down here like that. I'll put it back in the box. Wait, what's... I just put it back in the box. I'll find it in a minute. Okay, next. This isn't any fun. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you, oh. oh, I left it in the other room. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had put it um, in the charger overnight. They call this a lint remover without the O, but really it is a hair fuzz remover. And it looks like this, okay? And it comes with the little charging thing. All right. Now, I saw another YouTuber with this. Um, it was um, Kelly from Kelly's Unboxing Addiction. And I couldn't believe it. So, I wanted to try it for myself. All right. And it cost, when I um, ordered it, it cost... $5.11. It's now $6.48, but I'll tell you, it is the best $6.48 you'll ever spend. So this is a beautiful Angora sweater, Christmas sweater, that Grumpy Grandpa bought me years ago. In a weaker moment. And um, I know it was very expensive, but... Of course. Here is what happened. See if I can show you. See how nubby it, it got? See that? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you, using this, what it'll do. Now, would you hold this up like this, please? Like this? No, I'll hold up this end if you'll hold oh. that end. So I'm gonna turn it on, and hopefully I can do it holding it up in the air. Come on, pull it tight. Okay, pull it down that way. Okay, there it is now. All right. See those numbs are gone. Now let's open it up. Mm -hmm. Ah! And it all fell out. Mm, impressive. Now you got nubs on your shirt. Yeah, those are nubs, all right. Huh. And you just go. Okay. Then you just put this back on, snap it back on. It's not on. It's not on. No, 
of it. Jesus. There you go. Is it on now? Yep. Rug works by hand. Rug works by hand. Down. Yeah, so you can get the idea. Be careful, there's going to be stuff in there. Okay, in just that little bit, that's what you get. Okay? I am telling you, this is worth its weight in gold because this beautiful sweater I had put away. This is going to go in the trash. No, but I didn't wear it because it had all that nubs, nubs on it. And now I can get all those nubs off and wear it again. Okay. Next December. So... That is that. Now, the last thing in this haul da, 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 da. is unbelievable. It yeah, is. Unbelievable. You got to have this. This. Doesn't yeah. look like much, does it? I like this. This is a multi use tool, a pen, ballpoint pen, for 99 cents. It has. Six uses. Mm -hmm. One. It is a stylus pen. Let me pull this off. It has a stylus. What does that mean? I don't know. That's just what it says. Okay. It has a screwdriver that is a Phillips. Where? Right there. It's a Phillips screwdriver right there. You pull that out, and it is a Regular flathead screwdriver. screwdriver. Yeah. Careful. Help fire. Oh, I see. This is the stylus. See that? That's the stylus pen. Okay, so we're up to that, three. That's an eraser. Well, they said it's stylus, that you can use it on certain things as a stylus. So one, Phillips screwdriver, Flathead screwdriver, that's three. It has a bubble level, leveler. See that right there? That's four. It has a ruler in inches, and it has a ruler in centimeters. That's the inches. There's the centimeter. Mm -hmm. That's five and six. And well, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. And it's a ballpoint pen. That's six. Six uses in this one pencil for 99 cents. Now that's something I can get my teeth around. You like that, huh? Yeah. So it was a hot seller at Christmas for stocking sufferers. So put it on your list or buy them now and put them away. Great gift. You know, it's so hard to buy gifts for boys, you know, 10, 11, 12. They would go nuts over this kind of thing. Six in one multi tool pen. 99 cents. Now they're 98 cents. Buy them now while they're 98 cents. Okay, that's the end of this haul. The total price of everything that I got, which was. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items was $29.58. So, Timu tools, are they worth it? I would say definitely yes. They are definitely worth it. We want to thank Timu again so much for gifting us the money to buy these tools and being able to share with you. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Don't forget, subscribe, 
Hit the bell and the word all so you never miss one of our videos. Give us a like, thumbs up. You know, those likes really, really help us. We really appreciate it when you give us a like. Comment down below, and we hope to see you at Nona's here again very soon. Thanks, Timu. Bye. How do you like my new pencil? <laughs>